Hello, Richard from Richard's Guitars. Hope you're well today. Best acoustic guitar under £200, brought to you by Google. Um, yeah, this is an interesting one. I had a customer who um, was questioning my wonderful, wonderful recommendation of the uh, LAG uh, T70A. Uh, and um, I'll just quickly give you a quick overview of this. Uh, this is my plug for the video. Uh, naturally, I was in the middle of a conversation with the customer. They had a couple of hundred pounds to spend on an acoustic guitar. I was saying, look, this, it's been off the radar for some time. Um, and just trying to explain the fact, yeah, I've got tons of reviews on this and this and this, but trust me, this guitar is amazing. Um, relatively short period of time I've been back with uh, doing lag again, I've explained it in another video. Um, but today I just thought I'd show you this one at 199. Um, so this guitar is 199. I mentioned it briefly in another video. Um, and naturally, if I've got a customer asking me what do I reckon for a guitar for a couple hundred pounds, uh, I just think it's hugely stylish. Uh, the machine heads are really high quality. Uh, this is straight out the box, and although I can't always guarantee that it'll be as good as this one, the uh, saddle height's good, action is excellent, straight out the box. Uh, finished absolutely beautifully, and I love the I love the detailing. This is the new uh, new trim they're putting on the 199 model, which just sets it off really nice. Um, it's got this kind of, it, Lag is a French brand, and there's something very, very stylish um, about this guitar, you've got this like three-dimensional head plate thing going on, it sculpts his back. Um, yeah, so I absolutely love it, uh, tonally. I don't want to go into a whole thing about this, but... Um, um you get an idea. It's an acoustic guitar, plays great, sounds great for the money. It's, it's a 200 quid guitar that's beautifully stylish, easy to play, feels fantastic. We set it up to perfection and what more could you want? The, um, another reason for recommending this one is the fret, uh, fretboard feels, uh, the neck feels kind of slim and comfortable to play. Um, it's very, very easy to get your hands. It just plays like a dream. So that's my little baby. By the way, also available in a gloss version. So if you don't like satin finishes, an absolutely beautiful gloss version for 30 quid more. So there you go, same guitar, 30 quid more, beautiful gloss finish. And it's absolutely, could you believe that's 229? So uh, that's a lag, so that's lag. So back to the phone call. I'm trying to save this person with the best intentions in the world. I love this guitar for these kind of reasons. Um, but they said, well, I haven't seen that guitar uh, mentioned anywhere else. Uh, and I said, well, where do you mean anywhere else? Well, I've been onto Google and I um, have been doing my round. So, I thought I will investigate myself and find out why nobody's recommending this absolutely wonderful fine guitar. But obviously, I also had knowledge. I, I knew why this would be the case. Lag is being distributed in the UK by a... Uh, a fairly small distributor and they are being very selective about who sells the product. You will only find these guitars in what I would describe as specialist independent stores, most likely. Um, that is something that I know from talking to the distributor um, and you know it's this is what happens. There is politics behind everything and reasons why you will see certain brands in certain places and I thought I would demonstrate my point to you. Best acoustic guitar under £200 as brought to you by Google. I have a whiteboard. Um, so before I came out, I didn't think I'd do it while you were, uh, while you were, um, while you were waiting. Uh, so I thought I'd cut some of the time down, stop some of the waffling. So what I did was, I did a search for best acoustic guitar under 200 pounds. And this is, I've, I've taken, um, I, 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 initially I put the names of the shops, but I, they're not relevant. And I, and I don't want to make any kind of, there is no um, slant or negativity towards any of these brands. 
That isn't the point of the conversation at all. Uh, there's no negative towards the shops that sell them, uh, but there is an overall point I'd just like to make to you here. Okay, so just whizzing through this, uh, Fender C, these are best, these are from blogs and posts on the first page of Google, only appearing on UK shops. First point to mention is when you do a search on Google, um, you know, Google has a relevancy kind of ranking and a, and a kind of a, you know, an algorithm that will bring up um, what it believes to be the kind of um, the best place where they're going to get consistent or quality results um, based on the traffic that goes through the website, um, based on all sorts of social uh, media and links and, you know, so what you tend to find is big shops get a lot of the space on the, on the, on the, you know, I'm very lucky with brands because we sell a lot of the brands that I sell. You know, anything that I want to get found for, as a rule, I will be on the front page. But when it comes to um, blogs and uh, kind of, you know, top 10 lists and we recommend this, you, what you tend to find is the most prominent ones are the, what I call the big, big shops, um, either multiple stores, shops, or uh, big online stores. And so I I basically collated um, everything that I could find from just the shops. Now, there were also this, these results repeated over again with all sorts of things like Music Radar and websites that link and do top. More often than not, these are advertising, not ignore, I shouldn't use the word Music Radar because that is a, a, a site name I just mentioned. So this isn't referring directly to them. But you're either talking about the reason I've discounted them and I haven't mentioned them in this list is because very often they will be advertorials, you know, um, product placement, um, links to Amazon, they get commissions. And really, you've just got to forget all that stuff. That stuff isn't worth the paper it's written on or the screen it's printed on. Whenever you see a top 10 list by a third party website, I can guarantee you more often than not, it's just a random collection of agreements and signed deals for advertising to sponsors. So. Dismiss all that. So this is the closest I can get to, to real recommendations, okay? These are real shops, real recommendations of best acoustic guitar under 200 pounds. Right, Fender CT60S, Sigma OMST, Fender CT60S, Alvarez AU70, which happens to be a ukulele, Epiphone AJ220 SE, Tanglewood TWCRD, Washburn WD758ABM, East Coast M Color, Epiphone Pro One Plus, Fender CC60S, Washburn WG7SBM, Yamaha FG800, Alvarez RD26SB, Redwood RD100, Merida, Merida, Trajan, Trajan, very push, Marina MR06, Tanglewood Crossroads, Yamaha FG800, Tanglewood Roadster, Epiphone Dove Pro, Merida, Merida D Diana, and a Martin Backpacker. In summary, that is 22 recommendations I found all classed as best acoustic guitar under 200 pounds. 12 different brands, 20 different models, okay? And only two models appear more than once in that list. And not one of these blogs discussed the importance of having a guitar hand finished and the importance of a, an instrument at that value price point being set up beautifully before sale. So there is this inference, there is this perception that these guitars are all the best recommendations under 200 pounds. The take home message for me is, not all these guitars can be the best acoustic guitar under 200 pounds, and that is because none of them are the best acoustic guitar under 200 pounds. It's kind of just a list. It's just lists of stuff that people sell. It's retail, it's business. Okay, uh, there will be different, just like I said to you about the magaz uh, the um, you know, these kind of online kind of top 10 lists, there's a, an agenda behind everything. So it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It doesn't mean that they're, they're bad people. It just means they'll have arrangements, they'll have agreements. I have arrangements. I have an agreement with this chap here, Lag. He's a lovely guy. Um, he's, he, he looks after me. Um, you know, he, he promises me that these guitars won't be in, uh, a box shift to store so that so they won't be out of stock all the time he's you know i'm promised that i'll get great backup and support with the product um that i'll get some priority to make sure that my customers can be serviced properly so i think yeah great and the product's absolutely 
bloody great. So, so I'm, I'm excited and I want to, I want to recommend that guitar because I know the alternatives. If there was something here that stood out as being the best, it should appear all over the place. It should appear all the time. There is no acoustic guitar under 200 quid that appears all the time because there is no one particular guitar that stands out as being any better than all the others. And the reason, um, and nobody wants to talk to you about setups. Nobody wants to tell you about, well actually, all of those guitars, I could sell you any one of those guitars and half of the guitars, not half, a good number of the guitars on that list don't even have a solid top. There was one that stood out to me. Ugh, really pretty guitar, so check it out. Um, which one was it? Oh yeah, uh, East Coast M Coa. Almost certainly a home brand of some kind of, of, of a shop out there. East Coast M Coa, check it out, because uh, it's really pretty. So if you want a really pretty guitar, go and buy that. I think it's about, two, I think it was over 200 pounds, it might be about 230 quid. It's pure laminate, and it's, it's a purely laminate guitar that looks really pretty, um, I've got no idea about the quality, whether it plays well, whether it can be set up well. They certainly don't talk about whether it's good or bad in terms of its setup and playability. It just looks really pretty and is really nice. So, want a really pretty nice guitar? Buy it. Um, however, I could show you guitars made by um, Court that are really pretty. I showed you one the other day, actually, a while ago. A really pretty uh, all laminate guitar for like 199. And let, that was an electroacoustic guitar for 199. And that was really pretty, but I don't really like selling them because they don't sound all that great because they're all laminate. Um, so the, the, the take home message is um, I sell what I sell because I personally recommend guitars that are linked to suppliers that support me, uh, products that I think actually are like this, you know, stand out in terms of visual, aesthetic, solid spruce top, their specification that you expect at a certain price. Um, and so I can't see how any guitar that is all laminate could appear in a top listing of best acoustic guitar under 200 quid. There's a guitar in there that's 100 pounds. Um, so that should be in the top, you know, best 100 pound guitar, not the best 200 pound guitar. Um, so rewinding that all the way back, whoever my customer was, who um, I said I'd do a video on this, um, please just trust me that, that um, just because you don't see something on Google, and just because Google doesn't say it's the best acoustic guitar under 200 pounds, doesn't mean I can't supply you what I believe to be the best acoustic guitar under 200 pounds, with the best setup that looks really beautiful, sounds really fantastic, and great support long term. Okay, I think that's my, I'll stop there. Okay, cheers guys, bye.